uh, is accepting his ice break today for your first speech you will introduce yourself to your fellow club members and give them some information about your background interests and ambitions practice giving them your speech to friends or family and strive to make eye contact with your audience you may use notes but read the entire project the objectives of the speeches to begin speaking before an audience the second objective is to discover speaking skills you already have and skills that need some attention i wish you all the best in your first attempt our next speaker gm anish vargis is working as a biomedical engineer and here in bharat for the last 4 years because he is a amateur boxing champion whoa let <laughs> me welcome gm anish vargis and the project title atlas start Atlas Shrug is a refulgent literary work by Russian American novelist, playwright, scriptwriter, Ayn Rand. And today, the title of my ice breaking session is based on the title of my novel, Atlas Shrug. Now, a bit of trivia before I start. The Atlas is the first vertebra of the spinal column and that is what connects your skull to the rest of the spine enabling you to turn your head in all directions four score and seven years ago was how abraham lincoln started his gettysburg address mr president toastmaster of the day fellow toastmasters and guests of the past the present and the future. Though I would like this to be known as the MMI address, I would leave that decision to you all as I go on with my icebreaker. A score and seven years ago, a simple Kerlite family consisting of a husband who was a technician with Keltron Delhi, a wife who was an employee with the income tax department in Delhi, we were on a short vacation in Kolkata. The wife was three weeks due, or so she thought, when the impatient baby, yours truly, decided to make his presence felt. And on the 29th of May, a healthy, well, you can see, I'm <laughs> saying so, baby boy was born. Surrounded by the love and care of his parents, five years later, he also had a baby brother, a baby brother whom he still loves with all his life and has done so ever since he has laid his eyes on him. But the love and peace was kind of short-lived. Why I say kind of short-lived was because dad had to go abroad, he came to Bahrain for his new job and mom and the kids were left behind. But not for long, we decided to join dad and there began my Bahrain sojourn. Five years and an education at the Indian school, a Asian school, I beg your pardon. And these instilled in me the seeds of uh, reading, writing, and public speaking, which is why I'm trying to revive them again with my Toastmaster journey today. Unfortunately, we had to leave Bahrain because our kids were growing, and one decided that it was best to go back to India and study. And we went back, and there began my responsible phase under the scrutiny of my mother's watchful eye. Nine years in Delhi, and I was a Tilliwana. A tag that I presume is more fervently held on to than the Marathis to, to their birthland. After completing my education, I moved on to Manipal. Four years of my biomedical engineering there, and I had a crazy life to say the least. Unlike Father Reverend Monai Philip, the newfound vices of freedom at college, I could not pass on. <laughs> and these soon became evident in my falling grades. Imagine, away after a very long time, 
first year of work and the grades keep dipping. I was distraught. What was I doing wrong? I couldn't just make out. But that's when a friend of mine took me to a local gym. And there started my love. Out of the two loves that I discovered in Manipal and the one that I'll talk today, the love for weight training. Now if you look at my title, again, it says Atlas Shrug. You would ask me why I chose a shrug. A shrug is a basic expression. It could be a momentary or insignificant movement of the shoulders whereby you're just denoting or expressing your ignorance or an unknown or a fear for something. And if done, your arms and the elbows straight out and lift it in this manner, under resistance is an exercise for the shoulders, of course. In the book titled Atlas Shrug, there is a lot of similarity drawn between the Greek titan uh, Atlas and how he was punished by Zeus to hold the sky up on his shoulders to separate the earth and the skies. Such a huge load. What would Atlas have done? Like any of us? We should. <laughs> that was a sign of resignation. But inadvertently, that also made the load bearable. When I came to Bahrain, the life was different. It was a cultural shock for me. And I was distraught because life was monotonous. It's nothing like in India, you would all agree. Yeah. And I was searching for my gateway to heaven. And there, I saw the gym again. And I've been a powerlifter ever since. Just a correction. I'm not an amateur bo boxer. I'm an amateur powerlifter. <laughs> and just to leave you with a thought, just like Mr. Astralis shrugged his shoulders unknowingly to carry the load, when I start with my journey at Toastmasters, I'm pretty sure that I can shrug my shoulders, lift whatever life hands me, and throw it back and move forward. Over to you, Toastmasters. <laughs>